Photos can be set on layers 1 and 2 of a quilt layout. It's recommended to only use photos for horizontal and custom set layouts. Working with photos is fun for labels, panel quilts, and t-shirt quilts. To set a photo onto layer 1 of the quilt, simply select the photo from the palette, then click in a space. If you're working in a square space, be sure to use a photo that's been cropped square, otherwise it will look stretched. For non-square photos, be sure to set your layout for rectangular spaces. To remove a photo that's already been set, you can use the erase tool, or you can set a new photo on top of the photo to replace it. When setting photos on layer 2 or layer 1 of a custom set quilt, you would simply drag and drop the photo from the palette onto the quilt. The photo will be placed on the quilt in the photo's actual dimensions. Click the Adjust tool, then select the photo. You can see the dimensions here. Use the Adjust tool to move the photo around on the quilt. You can resize the photo by adjusting these dimensions in the palette, or by dragging the corners of the photo inward or outward. Please keep in mind, you'll probably want to print these photos onto inkjet fabric, so be careful when resizing the photo. It's not recommended to ever enlarge a photo as it could lose image quality. To replace the already set photo with a new one, simply select a new photo from the palette, then click on the top of the existing photo. If you want to remove the photo completely, select the photo with the adjust tool, then click delete in the palette. 